we go from St. John Lateran to St. Mary Major, the largest and major church in honor of Our Lady and the oldest church dedicated to Mary in Rome. There is a strong tradition as to how this church received its name. At the end of the fourth century, Pope Liberius asked Our Lady to tell him where the major church in honor of her should be built in Rome. On August the 5th, on this spot, which is called Esquiline Hill, it began to snow. A very fervent man had an apparition of Our Lady in which she told him to go to the Pope and tell them this was where she wanted the Basilica to be built and that he was to use his funds to help the Pope build the church, which he did. The Basilica has been revitalized over the centuries, but the symbol of Our Lady, the Queen of Peace, is so strong here. She has such a firm, protective grip on her child and on her church. There is a special chapel dedicated to Our Lady of the Snows. It's here that the miracle is depicted in which the snow fell on the 5th of August. Every year on this day, millions of white rose petals are taken up to the roof of the church and thrown down to the people as a reenactment of the miracle of the snow. There is a special icon of Our Lady, which is said to have great miraculous intercessory powers. And in the crypt of the church, there is a reliquary from the wood from the manger of Bethlehem, where Jesus was born. This is said to have been brought back by St. Helena, the mother of Constantine. A few years ago, Pope John Paul II asked the custodians of the three major basilicas, as well as the Cathedral of St. John Lateran, to have perpetual Eucharistic adoration. And so you will notice in every one of the major churches in Rome, the Blessed Sacrament is exposed every day, all day long, in one of the chapels. Our Pope is trying to impress on us the importance and the power of our Lord Jesus in the Eucharist. And isn't it fitting, in honor of Our Lady, that we would venerate and adore her Son, our Lord Jesus, in the Eucharist? We consider the Colosseum to be a part of pagan Rome, and indeed it is, but it has a great deal to do with our Christian heritage. Because it was here in this Colosseum that many of our Christian brothers and sisters gave their lives for the faith, for their Lord Jesus to fight paganism in Rome. I believe it's on Good Friday every year. It comes to the Colosseum and walks the way of the cross in honor of the martyrs who died. For many years, the, uh, the guides would insist that there were no Christian martyrs. This is the first year that we hear the guides admit, yes, Christians were martyred here for the faith. And I wonder, I wonder how many martyrs there are today. I wonder how many of us would be accused of being Christians if we too were put on trial. If we were accused of being Christians, would we plead guilty? Every year on Good Friday, Pope John Paul II comes to the Colosseum and walks the way of the cross in honor of those martyrs who died and gave their blood here. The little flower, Saint Therese, came here while on pilgrimage to Rome, jumped down and kissed the floor of the Colosseum.